Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today we are reviewing the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. Isn't a foundation supposed to be tinted? I mean, I think, do they mean tinted moisturizer, but they're calling it a tinted foundation? Okay. A moisturizer foundation? Oh my god. Foundation moisturizer? Hello, you can see I've already got my makeup on. So I'm doing this in a little bit of a different format. Welcome. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, I hope uh, you stick around. Yeah, so I, I love uh, drugstore. I love, I love all kinds of makeup. Um, but I do like to uh, partake mostly in the affordable side of Ulta, like the drugstore side, with an occasional dabble into the high-end side. And um, yeah, I have dry, sensitive skin, so I always appreciate something moist and dewy. I'm wearing the foundation. I'm hoping, can you see? Do I focus? Let me turn down my brightness. There, you see that? Okay, so it looks pretty good. I would say I have had this on my face for an hour. I think it's been an hour and I do like it. So let's talk about what this is. It is new from LA Girl. It is called Tinted Foundation Buildable Natural Finish. You get one ounce for $8.99. Uh, that's really great. I love LA Girl. There, I find that there are so many good products in the line. I think they're just not kind of packaged and presented as sexy as some other things, but you know, it is such a good, affordable line of makeup. And this is shade medium beige. You can see it has this dropper type, you know, it's the tube and it has like this dropper. Okay. So you can see shade medium beige. I was surprised how this is perfect in terms of my summer shade with a bit of self tanner. I did pick up the shade nude as well because when I like to pick up two shades of foundation and if it's affordable, I'm able to do that. If it's a high end, then forget it. Um, and the nude shade is good to, what is that? That's got to be lipstick. Is good. It just, it's definitely my winter shade. I can always tell when something just blends into my forearm, like, oh yeah, you're winter. Um, and then if it is looking a little bit darker, then yes, that's my self tan shade. The side here I applied with a brush and then this side I applied with my Eco Tool sponge. And I will say on the back of your hand, if you test this foundation, you will think it is sort of useless. Like it just doesn't do anything. But if you like a tinted moisturizer slash sheer foundation, tinted, if you like a tinted foundation, because have we ever had a clear foundation other than the Becca Zero stuff? No. <laughs> it describes, let me just um, read to you the description. It says sheer to medium coverage, needle tip nozzle, buildable coverage, hydrate skin, fragrance free. We love that. Okay. So it does have your usual ingredients a little bit of safflower seed oil, uh, some ginseng root extract, um, glycerin, silica, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think that it's pretty much as it says. And I noticed, I'm going to insert the application video. I found that when I tried to build it, it didn't, it didn't really build. Um, it didn't wipe itself away either, but I also feel like I just didn't see anything happening. So I think you don't, you know, if you're happy with a, a very sheer to medium finish coverage, then you might like this. Um, and I think because I picked a shade that suits uh, me, that I didn't see any pores or anything like that, the little dots, and it has not... Um, sunk into my lines and it hasn't made any kind of weird texture. So I do like it and it's, it's sticking around where it's supposed to in those areas that seem to always fade first. 
and it is not, I'm not wearing any primer and I am only wearing my Dermatology Mineral SPF and I feel like my face feels perfectly comfortable, neither too kind of dewy damp and not dry. So I was filming something else that uh, I was, I'm working on and so I set my makeup with Haley's This Pressed Powder in shade 2.15. And it is, they call it a powder foundation, but I just use this as a setting powder and it's really nice. I love Haley's, so um, yeah. Uh, and um, so that worked really nicely over the foundation. And then I just applied some Rimmel bronzer, Revlon highlighter, and there you go. So I think that... Um, yeah, I think this is good. I will give you a six hour check-in so we can really see if, you know, this is the cat's meow or not. I also picked up the Hey Hey Vacay uh, palette from LA Girl. LA Girl does amazing palettes in these, like, is this 16? Yeah, these 16 uh, pan uh, palettes I love. I have like the Pro. There's like two of them called the Pro and those are so nice. And then they have a few more of these right now. You can pick up at Ulta. And um, this one, the Vacay one, is very pretty and it has an amazing, I don't know if you can see my, you know, what I did. I did use the greens and the gold and it's nice. It really, it is nice. I'm a fan. Love this. Um, just, I, I do love these. I think if you want this kind of like, you know, army green type color scheme, I think you'll be really pleased for the price. And especially if there is like a, you know, LA Girl 25% off or buy one, get one 50% off, or you have a $3 coupon or whatever it is, you know, go for it. Do I think that the Alter Ego blends better like in the Artemis palette? Yes. The greens, I have noticed green is hard and I feel like when I apply it, it kind of almost stains the skin and then you have to really work it. But I think it came out nice. I just think that it was a little bit <laughs> but then, um, and then the gold, where is this? This gold right here, this gold right here is very powdery. It, it went on nicely and I put it on with my finger and I like it, but I think that, you know, I think there's some other shimmers, but it's a good palette. I don't know if it's my top 10. Okay, so that is first check-in and application and let's see how this goes. We'll see you in a second. All right, welcome back. It has been eight hours, seven hours with wearing this foundation and it's good. It is lightweight. It wears well. My face felt hydrated all day. If anything, it definitely was shiny and I could have used some powder, but I also, you know, yeah. So I definitely think it was, it was just, you know, the foundation itself. I'll give you guys a close up. Um, yeah, let me give you a close up. I definitely, I mean, I could, oh, yes. I like turning it to a cooler setting. I don't know, can you tell? Can you see? that the eyeshadow wore well see but the green I just feel like the green doesn't blend but the foundation did good yeah so there you go. I mean that's nice that's nice oh let's um let's do a little powder at least on one side might as well I'll take the Haley's powder I used just doing a nice very soft, just to kind of see, and I'm just doing the one side. 
Yeah. So I like it. Um, I don't think it's going to be a lot of coverage. I mean, to, for me, it's I've just been used to this kind of thing. Oh, second thing to point out, I wore a mask. I wore a face mask running errands today. Um, I still wear my mask when I go out to the stores and anything indoors social where I know I'm going to be in close proximity. And um, yeah, so I wore a face mask probably for two hours and my makeup was not disrupted. My lipstick was just like faded because it just kind of blotted onto the mask. But other than that, it, it was, it didn't have any, it didn't have any kind of smears or indentations or something. So I was, I'm really impressed. I hope that was fun and I hope you enjoyed that. And I really appreciate you watching. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.